Well, children from the Clifton Creek Primary School in Victoria's East Gippsland region have begun their school term in temporary accommodation at another local school after theirs burnt down in the recent bushfires that devastated the region. Among them, Jake Brunswick, who also lost his home. But his family maintains they're still the lucky ones. This is what remains of Bree Brunswick and Jim Keats' dream home. It was just cute. It was like a little house on the prairie. It was, we just loved it. A country cottage in the rural hamlet of Clifton Creek, next door to the local primary school. But in the night of December 30, it was snatched away. Jim stayed to defend the house. By nightfall, he realised it couldn't be saved. The road was on fire. You know, the school was almost on fire. So I raced back down, grabbed the boys and just told them we're getting out of here. Five days after Christmas, Bree, Jim, kids Ashley, Jake and Joey lost it all. Everything that they were excited about was just taken away overnight and they, they struggled. The fire that claimed their home also destroyed Jake's school. For a little boy, you know, you've got your family and your school and that's your whole world and he'd lost it all. Clifton Creek Primary was over 100 years old, known as the little school that made a big difference. For Principal Sue Paul, this destruction is all too familiar. We lost a family member and a family home um, in the Black Saturday fires, so for me, seeing all of this is quite devastating. Just three days after the fire, the Victorian Government announced it would be rebuilt. It's a hub of that little community. I mean, Clifton Creek's only a small community it's just down the road from Benstar, but people want to see that school rebuilt. And in just weeks, the site has been almost cleared and portable classrooms installed. But for Term 1, Clifton Creek kids are swinging into the school year at the nearby Nicholson Primary School. <laughs> Their first roll call, a significant moment. To be able to go all present and accounted for is is the best thing we could hope for, yeah. Nicholson has six times the student population of Clifton Creek, but its principal, Sue Clake, says her pupils have been welcoming. They've accepted them with open arms. They're very, they showed a huge amount of empathy. I also want you to think of five things that you know you're already good at. The Clifton Creek class has been doing writing exercises that help with the feelings of loss from the fires. For Jake Brunswick, the losses are significant. The fires took his home, his school and the keepsakes he had from his late father. I had um, my dad's old motorbike gear and that's gone. And I had some pictures of my dad and they're gone. The children's bravery and resilience becoming world famous, with letters of support coming in from the US, the UK and Greenland. We're so lucky for all the support we've been getting and stuff. The new portables on the Clifton Creek Primary site will be ready for class by next term. And while the students say they've enjoyed their time at the bigger Nicholson school, they can't wait to get back. Langlang was at the school for a long time and he liked it there. It's a bit bigger. I like small schools better. It's good, but it's not the same. With no house insurance, Bree and Jim know they face a long road ahead, but they're just grateful to be walking it together. We're the lucky ones, you know. We, we're still here, and that's the most important thing. Abby Dinham, SBS World News.